Hi, blockchain visionaries. I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make that change happen in this video, I want to share with you an interview I recorded at the 2018 Money 2020 event in Las Vegas, Nevada, which I attended with Bits Online as a media partner. I had a great opportunity to interview many of the leading personalities in blockchain and cryptocurrency. Among them, I interviewed Ian Khan, a technology futurist and a producer of a documentary called Blockchain City. While we spoke during the interview, he spoke to me about the many different things he discovered as he recorded this documentary and got to interview and speak with different government entities all around the world and different organizations. It's a fascinating interview where we talk about many use cases above and beyond Bitcoin. So as you watch this interview, if you have any ideas or questions about the contents covered, I would encourage you to leave them below as I would love to hear from you and also for the rest of the audience around the world to also hear from you. I hope you enjoy this video and that you learn in the process. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm George Levy for Bits Online. I'm currently in Las Vegas, Nevada at Money 2020, and I'm here with technology futurist and author Ian Khan, who's also the filmmaker who's created a documentary called Blockchain City. Ian, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's my pleasure, and thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm very excited. I've actually been reading a lot about what you're doing. What I love about the angle that you're taking is that blockchain, a lot of people associate blockchain with Bitcoin. And they say, well, blockchain is all what makes Bitcoin possible. And they think cryptocurrencies, but there's so much more to blockchain and you bring that up. Tell me a little bit more about your vision behind this documentary. So the vision really behind the documentary is to help people understand what blockchain technology really does. Uh, what we saw is that there was too much confusion in the, in the world uh, around Bitcoin, uh, cryptocurrencies, and the craze of last year where you know, cryptocurrencies really jumped up, uh, was driving everybody to think that it's all about cryptos, but it's not, unfortunately not. Uh, blockchain technology, the underlying technology beneath cryptocurrencies is uh, useful for many other things. And in my humble opinion, cryptos are the last, last thing mm -hmm. that they can be useful for. Uh, today, governments across the world and, and cities and countries across the world private as well as uh, public sector are coming out with solutions that can change our lives in terms of making our lives more efficient, making them more, uh, you know, more uh, driven, not just technologically, but more driven towards value. So the value that blockchain technology can give us is immense. And we need to understand that in order to be able to part of this entire world that's driven by technology and specifically blockchain. You know, it's very interesting that you bring that up because, I mean, I've actually been following a lot of what's going on in the blockchain space, and I know that some of the applications talked about, for instance, is like preventing voter fraud or like in supply chain management or like handling identities, you know, things like that. So, but when you're talking about blockchain and government, tell me a little bit more because you've actually drilled down specifically in governments. Tell me about the vision you've seen and uncovered in this documentary. So as part of Blockchain City, the documentary, we really went around the world and interviewed some key governments who are doing work in blockchain. And we wanted to find out why are you investing in blockchain? What is it about blockchain technology that's driving you to, to really expand your portfolio of technology and, and to spend so much money on it? Uh, we ended up interviewing the government of Dubai and their goal is to have 50% uh, of their intergovernment transactions on blockchain technology by 2020 and 2021. Uh, what this does is create efficiency, it eliminates paper, it uh, really changes the entire way uh, things work in the back end. Imagine saving uh, one, two or five billion dollars mm -hmm. a year uh, in just things that you could have automated a long time ago. And so that's some, those are some of the things that, as an example, a uh, government of Dubai is working on. Very aggressive project, and they're well on their way to doing it. Uh, we also interviewed um, Estonia, the original uh, you know, technology country that's setting an example for everybody across the world about e-residency and having this uh, digital identity uh, so that you can conduct business no matter what part of the earth you are by just being part of Estonia as an e-resident. And that's driven through blockchain technology as well. Identity management, the fact that you could be you and nobody can fake you and nobody can sign checks on your behalf is all managed through something called digital identity management and blockchain makes that possible. Uh, we interviewed uh, the government of Netherlands that is working on a few projects with the UN. Uh, and we interviewed influencers uh, such as uh, Joe Lubin, who is the co-founder of Ethereum technology. Uh, we interviewed um, a Grammy Awards winner 
who's actually using blockchain technology to secure artist rights and making sure that artists get paid for all their creative work. And so these are some of the applications of blockchain that we never knew about. Uh, and these need to come in front of people, in front of our viewers, who would understand the impact of blockchain is not just about cryptocurrencies, but there's so much more to it. Uh, you mentioned um, voting. So we interviewed uh, Dolphy Mueller, who's the mayor of a small town in Switzerland called the town of Zug. Mm -hmm. And Zug is a place and a town and a municipality that first experimented with blockchain-based voting rights and how voting uh, could use blockchain. So there's all of these happening, all of these things happening. Uh, imagine in countries where there's a lot of water fraud, uh, countries in Africa, in Asia, there's a huge challenge where entire uh, countries are ruled by people who get voted uh, into power because of fraud. All that could be eliminated and we finally could have a true democracy in mm -hmm. so many different countries and that would change the lives of the people who actually live in those countries. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, absolutely. And uh, what's amazing is actually, as you're bringing these up, I've actually been following some of the case studies, but uh, you bring up some that I wasn't aware of. So I'm actually very excited. And, uh, and I'd like to know more about the documentary. How, how can the audience find out more about your documentary? So the documentary uh, is available right now as a preview on our website, www.blockchaincitymovie.com. Dot com. The film is launching in April uh, of next year in uh, Dubai. We have a huge worldwide premiere at the Flo Future Blockchain Conference in Dubai. And so the film will be available on a mass availability after that. Uh, We're probably going to be on one of uh, the online platforms as well. We're working on that. But if you want to follow our progress, go to blockchaincitymovie.com. That's fantastic. Ian, the very best. Uh, thank you so much for bringing your vision to the world, and uh, I am very happy that we're actually sharing it with you. So thank you so much for this opportunity. It's my pleasure, and thank you. I hope you found this video valuable and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Ask comments. I am George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. See you next time.